We're counting down to the new year. And for a look at what's coming up, we caught up with the head of trend spotting firm Trenda, Jane Buckingham. All right, let's start where everybody is, social networking. You have to do your Facebook, your MySpace, your Twitter. I'm on it all the time. What was and what is? So social networking isn't going away. We're still going to be doing it, but the evolution of it is going to be social buying. Ooh, okay. Right, so everybody's on the guilt. Everybody's doing one king's lane. But what's going to happen is, is that we're going to evolve so that I'm going to want money for what you buy. So sites like Lockers, Plum District, ideally what happens is, is that I send you something, I've bought it, and if I send it to you and you buy it, I get a little piece of what you buy. How fast is it moving? Pretty quickly. Sites like Locker supposedly have up to 18 million users. And really, this is just the evolution of our life online, right? That right. we're just spending more time. So what do you see? Which way are we moving? Well, it's interesting because, you know, we're living online and obviously we want it to be mobile. So everybody's going to be living in the cloud so that instead of just owning everything on your computer, buying all your songs, um, having all your DVDs, we're going to have everything in the cloud-based technology so that it's the mobile me. It's the, you know, this is my own personal internet hotspot. I can be connected wherever I am. So, we're living in the cloud. Yes. All right, everybody's there, but we still gotta eat. We still have to know what we want. Yes. That's why we have all these tasty things in front of us. Take me through these, Jane. Okay, so th this year was the mm. big year of the fish taco. Everywhere yes. you went, there were fish tacos. All over. I have one in my pocket right now. Yes, and living in the cloud with you. Um, so, next year, fried chicken. Really? You know what? People want comfort foods. It's tough times. Mm. We want something that feels a little more solid, a little more basic. So you're going to be seeing fried chickens everywhere. Easy to do. Lots of variants. Good price point. And also you can make it at home. So people are going to be staying in a lot. Very nice. And these sweet treats, what do we see? Yeah. So cupcakes. Cupcakes have been everywhere. They mm -hmm. probably won't go away. People love to send them, mm -hmm. uh, bring them to places. But you know what? Pies are back. Again, the same idea. People like to make things. People are growing some of their own foods. So pies, whether it's the fruit pies, lemon meringues. Again, you can do them in single, single servings. So you're going to see them everywhere, too. Mrs. Cuomo makes a nice apple raspberry crisp. Won an award on this show, but enough about me. Ooh. What are we doing with these drinks? Red All right, Bowl. so you know what? This Here's the thing. People have been amped up for a long time. We need to chill out a little bit. We mm. want to relax a little bit. So you're seeing a whole variety of drinks like Dream Water, sure. where what you do is you take a shot, and it helps you drink. Um, this is from Genesis. Helps to you sleep. Help to, oh, yeah, it what should help What have you been you. drinking? What was in your <laughs> shot this week? <laughs> you had to yeah, get up early kidding. this morning. Right, so you got your dream water, helps you sleep. What else? Or we Genesis got? today. This is goji berries. They're supposed mm. to help you relax. So the idea is lots of these enhancements that are going to help you chill out instead of amping you up. All right, so now you're calm. you got to figure out what to do with your time, and you're going to feed the brain a little bit. What do yes, we have? so, okay, obviously Twilight Series, still big, not going away. Mm -hmm. But the next one to start reading is this one called The Hunger Games. The Hunger Games, what Hunger are they? Games. What is it? Now, I'd say not young than fifth or sixth grade okay but it's a huge series it's now what's interesting about it is that it's got the kids it's got boys and girls and now the moms are reading it and that's a real indication that this is going to spread it's sort of you know it's a little bit dark I don't want to spoil it for you but it's a really interesting series and it really gets the kids thinking and anything that's getting kids to read is a great series beautiful and then we have a little fashion down here Can yeah you hit, okay so quick? this is the look for 2010 military these from J brand sold 250,000 wow. pairs mm -hmm. um, leopard was big okay uh, wedges was huge. Um, you know, I have on my hand the green from Chanel, which was really big. Very nice. And then for 2011, this is from Chanel. It's the black pearl iridescent. Oh, I know nail polish, very important to you, but it's sort of iridescent. Next year, we're going to see um, lace very transparent, um, honeysuckle pink. Now, I don't know if you remember in Devil Wear Prada, the moment where the color is announced, it's a very big thing. Yes, every man remembers that. I <laughs> I know it's a big thing for you, but now you can talk about honeysuckle pink and then the kitten heel instead of the wedge and very, very pointy toes. Beautiful. It's going to be a tough year for women. Jane, you took us chicken to kittens. We're in great <laughs> shape. Thanks for helping us get ready for the new year. Appreciate the trends always. Anytime. Thank you.